Hello, my name is Rajiv Radhakrishnan and I am a huge cricket fan and this started in the summer of 1986 when I was seven years old. I was born in 79 and it's interesting because everyone knows me as a cricket fan but in that particular summer uh, cricket wasn't actually my first love. I was actually really interested in tennis and I was watching Boris Becker win his second title. I might even have that memory from the 1985 tournament when he won as a 17 year old. So it's a bit hazy whether I remember Becker winning in 85 or 86. And then I also remember in the summer of 86 as Maradona's Hand of God against England, uh, which knocked England out of that World Cup. So it was a sort of, it could have gone either way, tennis, football or cricket. I was very interested in that match um, uh, and, and in Boris Becker, but cricket became uh, my true love. If maybe it wasn't my first. So it was 1986 and my hero for some reason was David Gower and I still remember going and seeing uh, England versus India at the Oval uh, sometime in May and looking forward to seeing David Gower back and he was the captain and he got out the first ball and I still remember asking my dad at the time, um, doesn't he get a second chance? And I was like, no, first ball, you're out, you're out. But there you go, I was only seven, I didn't know the rules. Um, and then for 30 years I've been following the game, uh, following England um, and I still remember that summer 86, it was a disastrous summer um, and then that winter they went to Australia uh, for an Ashes contest and that's the first time I got introduced to the likes of Alan Border, Steve Waugh, Merv Hughes, Dean Jones and David Boone who would um, continue to play a major role in my life for growing up later on. And I still remember watching it, and some of the matches were in coloured clothing, and I just thought, well, they played test matches in coloured clothing then, only really, really, later did I realise that was actually ODI cricket. Um, so I watched that, and little did I realise that I would have to wait till I was 26 before England won the Ashes again, as they dominated cricket throughout the 90s, and not just against England. Um, I also remember being very upset that Gadding had taken over as captain uh, from David Gower, and that was a very... Uh, upsetting time for me, sort of fueled a hatred, completely irrational towards Mike Gatting, um, because my hero was sacked. Just as I got into cricket, he was sacked as England captain. Um, so throughout that time, from 1986 summer, from the first test against India at Lords, um, right up until the last test against South Africa in the winter of 15-16, uh, England played in 347 test matches. They won 119 lost 118 and drawn 110. So it's a pretty much one-to-one -one ratio, uh, pretty much evenly spread there. Um, competed in 92 series. A series is any contest more than one test. So there's one-off tests against Sri Lanka, etc. that are not counted in these stats. So 92 series, winning 40, losing 36 and drawing 16. So again, fairly one-to-one -one ratio there. 16 test captains from Gower um, all the way down to Cook that I have been um, a fan of, so um, 16 captains, some controversial ones, um, some were stripped, some were sacked, Gower was sacked twice, Gatting was stripped, uh, as was Kevin Peterson, some resigned, um, and some were sacked uh, for performance issues like Alex Stewart, which I think was a bit harsh, but that's another issue. Um, followed the one days quite closely at the beginning of that 30-year cycle, I've sort of lost interest in the ODIs. Um, some of the things I remember is the 1989 tie between England and Australia at so Trent Bridge. Uh, Robin Smith won 67 at Old Trafford against the Australians. And of course, Hussain's uh, three, or two, three, three fingered salute at Lords in 2002. Other than that, the ODI game is pretty much uh, dead and buried for me, as is 2020. Never really took it off for me either. Um, and every year since 1986, uh, with a couple of exceptions, I've been to Lords or the Oval um, to, to watch the matches. I've also gone to other the, the outer skirts grounds like Headingley, uh, Trent Bridge, Old Trafford, but mainly it's Lords uh, and to a lesser extent the Oval. Um, so I've enjoyed that and on top of that I've also started to take a lot of selfies with these famous, with lots of past players. Uh, they've been put on Facebook etc. Um, people have commented on them. I've got some great pictures. I think my favourite one is with Derek Pringle when I'm holding a packet of Derek Pringle crisps, uh, sorry, <laughs> Pringles crisps with Derek Pringle, uh, which uh, got a lot of likes on Facebook. Um, and then, of course, my letter writing. Uh, that started in about 2000. I've uh, been published consistently uh, in the Cricketer magazine, Wisdom Cricketer, as it used to be called. 
um, Sunday Times and uh, on the internet just generally. So, but having been published for a while, I've sort of lost interest in the writing there. And I've also written in um, un- under other names as well because I think I've been banned, but we won't talk about that. Um, so yeah, um, and I've sort of across those thirty years, um, I've also put together fourteen categories uh, of awards. Um, um, sort of really had to rack my brain and think who should be the recipients of these rewards um, and that will be in my next YouTube clip where I identify uh, and tell you the reason behind um, those awards um, but other than that it's been a, a great journey 30 years I mean you just think about 30 years uh, of fun since um, 1986 and I'm really looking forward to this summer of 2016 to really celebrate that in fact uh, I've already done a montage from 1986 to 2011 celebrating the 25 year clip no 25 years of memories um, please look at that um, but I think the 30 year mark really does represent something so um, yeah um, I've in, enjoyed the game and I will continue to love it and don't listen to anyone who says that I just turn up to cricket matches and get drunk and then go off and uh, stalk players I do watch the game sort of um, but yeah please enjoy my uh, awards for the um, 14 categories of uh, 14 categories of awards which uh, will be shown in another YouTube clip thank you and uh, I hope let's look forward to another 30 years thank you